two agreements were signed between the governments of Armenia and Bulgaria on Monday. A deal on automobile, passenger and freight transportation and an agreement on readmission. The signing of the documents took place within the official visit of the Bulgarian Foreign Minister Ekaterina Zakhareva to Yerevan. According to the Bulgarian Foreign Minister, Bulgaria facilitates dialogue between Armenia and the EU on visa liberalization. The Foreign Minister also noted that direct regular flights should be set between Armenia and Bulgaria. Recognizing the Armenian Genocide is important from a human rights perspective, Chair of the House Rules Committee Jim McGovern said in an interview to NPR. When you don't acknowledge what has happened, and in this case a genocide, it paves the way for other authoritarian leaders, other dictators to, you know, to also commit genocide. So this is something important to do from a human rights perspective. The state budget of 2020 plans revenues of 1 trillion 602 billion drums. We have a 27.4% growth compared to 2018, said Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan during the discussion of Armenia's draft state budget of 2020 at the Armenian parliament. According to him, economic activity in Armenia is 7.1% for over 10 months of 2019. The Prime Minister noted that international organizations, in particular the International Monetary Fund, the Asian Development Bank, all without exception have revised their assessments on the economic growth in Armenia with an upward trend. The Prime Minister added that inflation in Armenia in 10 months of this year is 1.6%. Finance Minister Atom Janjouazian in his turn noted that the relatively high economic growth in 2019 is explained by the growth rate in the services and industry. According to him, it is expected that the average inflation in Armenia in the near future will be about 2%. October 27 was the 20th anniversary of the deadly shootings in the National Assembly, the NA, of Armenia. As a result of the crime committed 20 years ago, then NA President Karen Demirjian, Prime Minister Vazgen Sarkisyan, NA Vice Presidents Yuri Bakhshian and Ruben Miroyan, MPs Armenak Armenakian, Henrik Abrahamian, Mikhail Kotanyan and Deputy Minister of Operations Leonard Pedrosian were killed. Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan honored memory of the victims of the October 27th attack on the parliament. He was accompanied by Armen Sarkisyan, brother of the killed Prime Minister Vazgen Sarkisyan, son and widow of Karin Demirjian, president of the Army National Assembly, as well as family members and friends of other deputies killed in the attack. Armenia's Simon Mardirosyan won gold at the European Junior and Under-23 Weightlifting Championships in the plus 109 kilogram category. The leader of the Armenian team set a new world record in snatch. Mardirosyan lifted a combined weight of 434 kilograms.